Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the What If series. This time there is going to be more money involved. I promise next week there won't be no money involved. But the money is going to be pumped into the city of culture for 2021. That is the city of Coventry. We're going to pump money into four of the non-league teams around the city of Coventry. Not Coventry City, Coventry United, Coventry Copswood, Coventry Alves and Coventry Sphinx. We're going to pump money into those four clubs and we're going to let them have a little race. See who can make it to the top of the English pyramid. Let's go. So first two teams to look at are Coventry Sphinx and Coventry United. There's the money in Coventry Sphinx's bank. They are currently at the Sphinx Sports and Social Club, which holds a 1,000 people. Coventry United play at the Butts Arena. That holds 4,000. They are in the same division in the United Counties Premier Division South. There's their money as well, all topped up. We're now going to have a look at Coventry Copswood and they are in the Midland Football League Division 1 there's all their money they play at the Copswood Sports and Social Club that holds 1500 people and lastly it is going to be Coventry Alvis who are the lowest ranked team they are in the Midland Football League Division 2 1000 people at the Alvis Sports and Social Club all these teams have had money pumped into them. We're going to go five years into the future and we're going to see how these teams get on, if they can make any progression in their leagues. Here we are, five years in the future, 1st of July 2026, and we're going to look at each team individually. We're going to look at their league positions over the last five years, whether they've got promoted, whether they've got relegated. Then we're going to have a quick look at their landmarks, see if they've done anything to their facilities, and then we'll move on another five years into the future. So we are going to start off with Coventry. I think we're going to start off with Coventry United. They have had one promotion so they now sit in the northern premier league division one midlands they're in tier eight now they started in tier nine they're in tier eight last two seasons they finished second and second so missing out on promotion they are still at the butts park arena at four thousand people their training facilities and youth facilities look a hell of a lot better and their media prediction is for first in this coming season so things looking decent Probably unfortunate not to have got promoted in the previous two seasons. Finished second in both. If we just have a quick look at their landmarks. Youth and training facilities upgraded there. Promotion in 2023. Youth category raised to category 4 and then into category 3 in 2026. So steady moves made. Not gone as far as I thought they would do. But nice little start. We'll have a look at their managers. Lee Morris has been their manager for just shy of five years he's still in the job felt like he could be in a little bit of trouble if he doesn't get promotion in the coming year let's look next at coventry sphinx they are fifth in the southern league premier central sorry that's where they start isn't it so they have had they got promoted then they got relegated went straight back up and then back-to-back -back promotions which sees them in the southern league premier central they got promoted from the northern premier league division one midlands so that says to me and we will just double check this that says to me that country sphinx and country united were the top two teams in that division unfortunate to miss out uh, to their local rivals and Spalding went up in the playoffs they beat country united on penalties at sixfield stadium in northampton to go go up so Let's go back and, right, I have made an absolute meal of that there. Coventry Sphinx. So, training facilities and youth facilities have both been improved. Kenny Jackett is the manager there. We'll quickly look at the managers. So, they had Ashley Connors there for just over two years. I think Kenny Jackett's been there for just a tad longer than what Ashley Connor was. Two league wins, one cup win as well. The Gladwish Challenge Trophy they won there. So, good movements. Just checking the landmarks as well. So, promotion... Youth and training facilities upgraded there. Youth category raised to four. Youth and training facilities upgraded once again. And the youth category rated and raised to category three there. So good infrastructure in place. Three and a half star training facilities. Three and a half star youth facilities. And a wide array of players here. Wojciech Petrosvic, 21-year-old Pole, top prospect. And they've got Derek Mayanja, 
who is a Ugandan 20 year old who's their key player and captain and Shahari Green who is from the British Virgin Islands really really wide array of players from different nations here they are still at the Sphinx Sports and Social Club as well holding 1,000 no sign of them moving just yet got 782,000 pounds in the bank next we're going to move on to Coventry Copswood who got promoted from the Midland Football League Division 1 then came 10th in the Midland Football League Premier Division and then came 2nd in the previous season to get promoted. They're still at the Copswood Sports and Social Club. Lee Knight is their manager. He has been in charge since the start. It's coming up to 5 years. We've just checked their landmarks as well. Youth and training facilities upgraded. Youth and training facilities upgraded again. And youth category raised to category 3. So they're all pretty similar in terms of what they're doing. Their facilities, 2 star training, 2 star youth facilities and two promotions so that means they are in the northern premier league division one midlands this season with coventry united so two of the Coventry teams in tier eight no ten yeah tier eight so and they're uh, we made them more professional as well we put that money in we made them more professional to give them obviously more of an advantage and lastly was the lowest ranked team coventry alvis who are still in the midland football league division two they came third, then they came tenth, then they came second. They're just missing out on promotion. So we're going to go further into the future now and we're going to have a look. If Coventry Alves can make it up from tier 11, the lowest ranked team, oh, before we go, actually three and a half star training facilities, three and a half star youth facilities, two star youth recruitment. They've improved them. They've raised to category three as well. Manager, wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what happened here? So... Ethan Henderson was there for just over a year. Then Nuno Espirito Santo came in for just over a year. He left. Brendan Rodgers came in for just shy of a year. He was sacked. And then Thomas Tuchel was there for just over a year. And he has left. So, bizarre choice of managers. The manager, they haven't got a manager at the moment. But this team really should be in position to make a surge up the leagues with the infrastructure they've got in place now. Some of the youth players they should be getting should be good. Although, now with five teams with decent youth facilities if you include Coventry City as well they might be struggling to attract the local players but anyone that falls away from those teams above them will fall into the path of Coventry Alves and hopefully they can use them and start making moves up the league pyramid. So nine years in the future we are going to start with whichever the first team is that comes up when we type Coventry and that is going to be Coventry Sphinx who are in the Vanarama National League so since we were last there it was the 25-26 season where they won the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands in first place. Then the Southern League Premier Central first, second in the Vanarama National League North. And then they finished third and then eighth in the Vanarama National League. They are at the Butts Park Arena as well, 4,000 capacity that holds. David Stockdale is the manager. Kenny Jackie was sacked just shy of six and a half years. Six league wins, one cup win. That was the, the Gladwish Challenge Trophy, as we said last time. David Stockdale, is he the manager or is he caretaker? I think he is the manager. So they have made excellent strides. We'll just check the landmarks as well. FA Trophies runners-up as well in 2029. Youth category to three. They moved to the Butts Park Arena permanently as well. So real good moves made here. Youth category is still category three. So they haven't improved on that yet. Training facilities four star, youth facilities four star, junior coaching, youth recruitment still in the grey stars, but good moves and they've still got seven hundred fifty five million pounds in the bank. We're going to move next to Coventry Alvis. One promotion in 26-27 season. Then they came third, fifth, and seventh. So they're making moves. They're in tier ten, but they're not doing. As well as I thought, they're just slacking a little bit down here. Finding these lower divisions really difficult to get out of. Jacob Smith is the manager now. He has been there for just over three years. Led them to that one promotion. Four-star training facilities, four-star youth facilities. And we'll just check the landmarks on them. Club went into administration, came out of administration, turned semi-professional. Very bizarre. Went back into administration, so... All sorts of stuff happening at Coventry Alvis. Very bizarre. So next up, we are going to look at Coventry United, who are in the Vanarama National League North. 
So they were finishing second regularly. Then they won the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands after a couple of second places. Went straight up from the Southern League Premier Central. And last season finished 10th in the Vanarama National League North. Predicted to finish 6th this season. Four star training facilities, four star youth facilities. Reese Kent is the manager and he's in the favoured people as well. So we'll just quickly look at what he's done. Two league victories since he's been there. The last one was the Southern League Premier Central. So doing a good job. He's been there just shy of four years now and we just check the landmarks as well for them youth categories no category two and that's pretty much all that's happened youth and training facilities have obviously been upgraded again chairperson left james taylor withdrew the funding which is odd because they've still got the bank balance 756 million in the bank balance they are in the van rama national league north now and that just leaves one team to check and that is coventry copswood and they are also in the Vanarama National League North. Lee Knight is still the manager there. He's been there for just shy of nine years. Three league titles since he's been there. Two star training facilities. One and a half star youth facilities still in the grey with junior coaching and youth recruitment. Three grey stars there. 737 million in the bank still. Since the last time they finished second and got promoted. Then they won the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands in the 26-27 season. Fifth then second and then won the Southern League Premier Central to get promoted so that means that we have one team in tier 10 just one promotion for them up from tier 11 Coventry Copswood and Coventry United both sat in the Vanarama National League North if we just look at the pre-season preview for this upcoming season they are the top two teams both expected to get promoted and then going up to the Vanarama National League Coventry Sphinx are favourites to get promoted 4-9 to nine, and they sit the highest out of the four teams so far so we're going to go some more years into the future probably be another five or six years 14 to 15 years into the future and let's see how these teams are getting on because the infrastructures now are in place to make these teams very very good sides so we are 14 years into the future and as we type coventry into the top of the screen we see wow Coventry Sphinx are in the Skybook Championship there, the Butters Park Arena, which has been extended to 5,000. Johnny Stewart is the manager there. Just check the manager. Johnny Stewart has been there for just over three years. David Stockdale lasted a year before Johnny Stewart came in. One league victory. He won Skybet League 2. Looking at that, so they were in the National League so they finished third then eighth then second then came third and went up in the playoffs went up from Skybet League 2 first second in Skybet League 1 and then last season finished 15th in the championship they're predicted to finish 13th this season in the championship one and a half star training facilities and youth facilities two grey stars junior coaching one and a half grey stars youth recruitment 946 million pounds in the bank just check their landmarks and yeah, stadium capacity increased to 5,000. Grass pitch installed. Moved back to the Butts Park Arena after temporary relocation. They went to the Coventry Building Society Arena for a little bit. Uh, FA Trophy runs up. We saw that before. Skybet League 2 Champions. Youth category was lowered to Category 4. Everything looking good at Coventry Sphinx. They are in the Championship. And they are probably going to be the top side now without looking too much ahead. Coventry Elvis are up to tier 7 so they were in tier 10 in the Midland Football League Division 1 they then won it won the Midland Football League Premier Division then won the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands and last season finished 8th in the Southern League Premier Central all following the same sort of pattern in the leagues because obviously from the same area Jacob Smith has been there for over 8 years now 3 league victories the biggest one being the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands just looking at the landmarks as well not a lot has happened just the uh the two championships that well the three championships there in consecutive seasons jacob smith doing a really really good job a was it newcastle benfield as the under 18s manager went to gloss up under 18s and then Nesbrook reserves and then to Coventry Elvis and since then has just gone from strength to strength as a manager. Three and a half star training facilities, five star youth facilities, two and a half star junior coaching and unknown youth recruitment. They're still at the Elvis Sports and Social Club. Next up we are going to look at Coventry United who are in Skybet League 2. Went up from the Van Rama National League this last season. They finished first. Before that they finished second, fourth, seventh. 
after their promotion from the Vanarama National League North in the 2030-31 season. They are at the Butts Park Arena still as well. That is obviously now 5,000. Reese Kent is still the manager. He has been there for just shy of nine years, four league wins, including the latest one, the Vanarama National League. So absolute sensation. He's now a club icon, is Reese Kent. Three and a half star training facilities, five star youth facilities, four and a half star Grey stars for junior coaching and the youth recruitment is unknown. They're predicted to finish 10th in Skybet League 2 this season. And that leaves just one club to look at. And that should be Coventry Copswood, who are in the Vanarama National League. They got promoted to League 2 and were relegated this uh, previous season in 23rd place. So they're back into the National League. Second, they're predicted to finish this year. Two and a half star training facilities, two and a half star youth facilities, four grey stars for the junior coaching and the youth recruitment. John Clark is the manager then now at the moment. Lee Clark was sacked just short of ten years. Craig Concannon came in. He was there for just over three years, two league titles. Sam Page was caretaker manager for a couple of weeks, and then John Clark's been in since just shy of a year. No league wins, no cup wins. He would have been the manager that took them down to the National League so it would be up to him to get them back up so very interesting so we have a team in tier I think they're in tier 7 now a team in the National League a team in Skybet League 2 and a team is in the Skybet Championship very very interesting stuff and we're going to go another 5 years into the future we're going to see they're in good places now they're in really good places if Coventry Alves can just get their act together a little bit we could see all four teams in the Football League in five years' time. So here we are, 2040, 19 years in the future. And as always, we're going to do them in the order they come up with on the screen. So as we type Coventry in, Coventry Sphinx come up first. They are 10th in the Skybet Championship. They actually came second and got automatic promotion and then finished 19th in the Premier League and finished third this season, just gone. I pres this is the first time we'll just check this, but I presume... But I know they'd have made the playoffs. We've come back a little bit later this time as well. So they finished third. And then in the playoffs, they lost 2-1 to Crystal Palace in the uh, playoff final. So they didn't go back up. They are at the Coventry Sphinx Stadium now. 20,197 people there. Sergei Rebroff is the manager as well. He replaced. So who was there last time? I think it was Johnny Stewart. So he was sacked for just over four and a half years in the job. And then Sergio Rebroff has been in there, coming up to four years in the job. Obviously took them up to the Premier League and then back down to the Championship. Two-star training facilities, two-star youth facilities, two-and-a-half-star grey stars of junior coaching and one-and-a-half grey stars of youth recruitment. Not great in terms of facilities. They haven't really spent the money on those. I don't know where, where they've been spending. It must just be on the team and on the stadium as well. 20000 197 seat stadium. I don't know where they'd build that in Coventry, but they built it in the game. So good moves there. And if we just check the landmarks as well, they went to St Andrews. So they didn't even go to the Coventry Building Society Arena. They went to St Andrews in their relocation because they went there in 2032 when the Butts Park Arena was being extended. Youth and training facilities upgraded. Youth category raised to category three. So yeah, very good moves made by Coventry Sphinx. And then next up, <clears throat> excuse me, Coventry Alves are in the National League. They got promoted from the National League North as champions last season. Three and a half star training facilities, five star youth facilities, three and a half star junior coaching and the youth recruitment is still unknown. Jacob Smith is still the manager, 13 years, four league titles. They, they've had two shots, they've had Rogers, they've had Santo, or Nuno, sorry, should I say. And they didn't do half as much as... Jacob Smith has done in his 13 years in charge of Coventry Harvest. He should, why he's only in the favourite people, I do not know. He should be as a club legend right now. Obviously, in the Van Rommel National League, predicted to finish first, still 505 million. They've probably spent the most out of all the clubs. I'm guessing that's because their income isn't as high as some of the other clubs. But good position. I thought they might be a National League team, um, a league team by now, but obviously not but they're not a million miles away next up we're going to go to Coventry United three star training facilities four and a half star youth facilities four and a half great stars junior coaching four star youth recruitment predicted to finish second in this coming season they got promoted to league one 
finishing third, automatic promotion in the 35-36 season, 15th, 16th, 13th, and then got relegated 22nd place last time out. Manager is Stefan Woods. So Reese Kent left just shy of 10 years. I thought he'd have hung on for 10 years. Then Chris Walsh came in. He was there for just under three and a half years. He was sacked. And Stefan Woods has been in there just shy of a year. Obviously would have been the manager to take them down back into League 2. And just check the landmarks on them. They, oh, I didn't, they've moved to the Reese Kent Arena, which holds just under 11,800 people after club legend Reese Kent. I wish he'd have got 10 years under his belt, obviously, just shy of that. And then the youth category was lowered to category 3. Failed financial fair play regulations on a number of occasions here. And that looks like all it is at the moment. So two teams have got new stadiums. And we're going to look at the last team. And I saw when we were looking at Coventry United, the Coventry Cops were also in Skybet League 2. They got promoted in 33-34, got relegated back down. Then they finished 12th, 7th. Ninth, and then they won the Vanarama National League and stayed up last season in 17th. Media prediction is 19th. Three star training facilities, two and a half star youth facilities, half a star in youth recruitment, and five great stars in junior coaching. Dominguez Quina is the manager there. He has been there for just over two years. So, who was there last time? I believe. I believe it was John Clark. But anyway, they've had a lot of managers, a lot of short-term managers. Jeff Hendrick lasted the longest, close to two years. Since Lee Knight, they haven't really got a sustained manager. But Dominguez Queen has a one-league win. He's been there for just over two years. Starting to do a good job. And they are at the Butts Park Arena as well. 5,000 capacity stadium there still, obviously. We're going to move one more year into the future just because... We're an odd number now. We're 19 years in the future. We're going to move to 20 years to the future. And then we're going to go 25 after that. So we've got one more year into the future. We're going to obviously do it the way that we've been doing it. As we type Coventry into the search bar. And Coventry Sphinx are still in the Skybet Championship last season. They finished in fourth in the Skybet Championship. Still no improvement on their facilities. Sergio Redbroff still the manager there. we just quickly flick through these. And we'll have a look as well. Coventry City while we're here. They are, Pablo Fornells is the manager there. They are still at the Coventry Building Society Arena. They are in the Championship. Went back up from Skybet League 1 in the previous season. Spent a lot of their time there after getting relegated in the 25-26 season. Had a finish at 16th as well, so there was a bit of a worry. But they are no longer the top team in Coventry. So, now we've had a quick look at those. We're going to move on and see how Coventry Elvis did in this last season. They finished in 3rd place, missing out in the playoffs. Jacob Smith is still the manager there. Coventry United, Skybet League 1. They they got relegated in the 29-40 season. They went straight back up in third. Nearly maxed out their youth facilities. Four and a half star, three star training facilities. Stefan Woods is still the manager there. And quickly just having a look at Coventry Copswood. They finished in 20th place last season predicted to finish 22nd in this coming season so not great so that's it just one more year into the future we're going to shoot five years into the future now to 2046 and let's see where they're at 25 years into the future and depending on how the teams are looking at this point we might go another 25 years into the future in just one foul swoop up to 50 years to see how these teams progress but let's go and let's have a look firstly at Who's it going to be this time? It's going to be Coventry Sphinx who are in the Premier League. They So they came second in the 37-38 season, got relegated in 38-39, then third, fourth. Then they went up in the 41-42 season as champions. Then they came 17th, got relegated in 19th, went back up in second and last season finished 17th, keeping themselves out of trouble. They are at the Coventry Sphinx Stadium still 27,844. Trent Alexander-Arnold is the manager there. So, since Sergei Rebroff was there, he was there for six years. Then, Joe Bryan took over for 201 days. Even Tony took over for just shy of a year. Yuri Tillemans took six months. 
and then Trent Alexander-Arnold has been there just shy of a year. So they've been going through managers pretty quick, especially after Kenny Jackett did six years, Johnny Stewart did four, Sergei Rebroff did six, and then a couple of managers in this last year, not much stability there. They have four and a half star training facilities, five star youth facilities, three and a half star grey junior coaching stars, and three great youth recruitment stars. And if we just look at the landmarks, stadium capacity was upgraded 27,844 in 2043. That was when they got promoted. That was the season after they got promoted as champions. They went to St Andrews for a little bit. It was increased to 20,197 and then increased to 27,844. So decent. Uh, infrastructure they've got in place now predicted to finish 17th in this coming season they've got 92 million pounds left in the bank so they've nearly got through the billion pounds that we gave them at the start of this 25 year stretch next up we're going to look at Coventry United who are in the Skybet League Championship they got promoted in the 44-45 season and finished 14th last time out. The media prediction is 15th for this coming season. Four star training facilities, five star youth facilities, one star junior coaching, and one star youth recruitment at the Reese Kent Arena. Still holding 11,757 people. Leg Club legend Reese Kent did a fantastic job. Keelan Plant is the manager there now. So after Stefan Woods, who was there for just shy of two years. Keenan Plant has been there for just over four and a half years. One league win, one cup win. He won the Papa John's Trophy and he's won Skybet League One since he's been there. So good stability to have a manager in place for that long. So, yeah, just seeing there. Papa John's Trophy, they won that in 2045. So I think that's the first cup win we've had as well. In Well, first league sort of cup win that we've had. If we go down to... Coventry Alvis are in Skybet League 2, 4 star training facilities, 5 star youth facilities, half a star junior coaching, unknown youth recruitment still, they got promoted to Skybet League 1 and then finished bottom, came straight back down, they got 372 million in the bank and their media prediction is 10th in terms of manager, so last time out they had Jacob Smith who was there for 15 years, just shy of 16 years, he got sacked, Jack Harrison lasted 6 months, Greg Cookson Sambord lasted just under two years before he was sacked and Alan Wells has been there about nine months or so looking at those amount of days he's been there not they're still at the Butts Park Arena 5,000 obviously in Skybet League 2 the infrastructure is definitely there they just failed at their first attempt in Skybet League 1 but we seem to have five and four league sides five if you include Coventry City and Coventry Copswood last but not least haven't made it up to League 1 they finished 4th then they finished 8th their media prediction is 4th this season 3 star training facilities 3 star youth facilities 1.5 star junior coaching and 1 star youth recruitment John Mullins is the manager there there's at the Butts Park Arena as well so who was there it was Dominguez Quina was there last time and he left and then Lucas Lovett did, just, did about 9 months he was sacked Ibrahim Balajai did under a year before he left. Matt Ibe did just over a year before he left. Ali Shearwood did just over two years before he was sacked. And John Mullins has been there 214 days. So it's about eight or nine months so far. Maybe about seven or eight months so far. They've got 468 million still in the bank. So they are looking in a decent position. So at the end of 25 years, we have four football league sides. We're just going to have a look because I didn't see where Coventry City were. There they are with Delhi Halley as their manager. So they have managed to sustain themselves as a championship club. But no longer the top club in Coventry as Coventry Shrinks have overtook them now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go another 25 years into the future. 50 years. Coventry Shrinks are in a position now where they should be able to cement themselves as a top flight club and then the other three teams all as football league clubs hopefully they can continue climbing the pyramid Newcastle have won quite a few league titles in the last six or seven years for their sharing it with Man City sort of taking it in turns Man City Newcastle Man City Newcastle Man City Newcastle Man City Newcastle so let's go 25 years into the future make it 50 nice round 50 let's see how these clubs in Coventry are going to get on with a billion pounds and 50 years to do something good with it.
The year is 2071 and we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to start off here looking at the Premier League. Man City have won the last four Premier Leagues. Newcastle won three in a row between 2056 and 2057. And we can see straight away Coventry Sphinx and Coventry United both in the Premier League. Coventry Sphinx have... I'm not entirely sure. They came back up last season. They are predicted to finish 17th. They are at the Coventry Spring Stadium, which holds 30, just under 37,500. Built in 2066. Not sure what these dash lines mean here as we got so far into the future. But they seem to have got relegated in the 67-68 season. And they came back up in the 69-70 season. And that seems like... Just going to check... So neither one of them were in the... So Coventry Sphinx came top of the championship last time out, 97 points. And Coventry United went up in the playoffs. They beat Stoke in extra time. So who beat Coventry Copswood? Stoke beat Coventry Copswood. So it wasn't a local derby in the playoffs. We have a look at Coventry United now. They, again, this is very weird. They obviously got promoted in the previous season. Bob Holiday's manager, the Coventry United Stadium, 34,528 people. Reese Kent Stadium is now gone. Papa John's Trophy, two Skybet League Ones. Actually, I didn't check what Coventry Sphinx had done. So they won a Carabao Cup in. 2064 and an FA Cup in 2055 so they have really done well they've got minus 30 million in the bank so they've spent all of their money Coventry United have got minus 32 million so again they've spent all of their money go down to the championship Coventry Copswood are in the championship uh, media prediction 11th they have a bank balance of minus 7 million now they have won the Papa John's Trophy and the FA Trophy in their time. Papa John's Trophy in 2055. Uh, I looked down at the managers, but since last time, I don't know how many of these would have stuck around. Bob Holiday was there for four years, and Jeff Moon, three years and 201 days. Did I see Bob Holiday was somewhere else? Just going to check. Bob Holiday is now at Coventry United. So he's moved on to Premier League Coventry United. And last but not least, Coventry Alves are in Skybet League 1. Doesn't look like they made the championship at any point. No cups there. They're at the Butts Park Arena still. 5,000 seater stadium. James Golden is the manager there. Just looking. He's been there for closing in on 10 years. As he has kept them steady in League 1. So there you have it, 50 years, £1 billion to four clubs and at the end of 50 years we have two of them in the Premier League. Neither one are sustained Premier League teams, They're all struggling a bit. Obviously, Coventry Strings have got an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup to their name, so they have really, really done the best out of the four teams. Coventry United in the Premier League, they have a Papa John's Trophy to their name. And a nice little stadium, 35,000 seat stadium. Bob Holiday is 43. Let me just check something. So he went to Woking, left Woking, went to Coventry Copswood, and then moved on to become the manager of Coventry United. So he moved across the city from Copswood to United. Looking down in the championship, obviously Copswood couldn't quite make it to the Premier League. They have Jeff Moon in charge now. They've won a Papa John's Trophy and an FA Trophy and the Pitching in Super Cup in the last 50 years. And they're moving down to Coventry Alves, who won a few league titles, not actually won a cup in this whole save. Uh, just the Vanarama National League, Vanarama National League North. They won the Vanarama National League four times, 42, 52, 55 and 58, which just shows their instability in any division, really. They just haven't managed to hold on and do what the other clubs have done the other clubs have managed to build on it but they have come from the lowest point they came from tier 11 where i believe copswood were in 10th tier and united and sphinx were in the ninth tier so they haven't done too badly they're still two tiers behind uh united and copswood but united and sphinx sorry but it just hasn't actually that is quite an interesting thing because country alvis were the tier 11 side and they are the lowest ranked team they're in the third tier Coventry Copswood I believe were the 10th tier 
at the start of this, they're now in the second tier. And the two teams that are in the ninth tier are in the top flight. That is kind of interesting how that has panned out over 50 years. The two teams that started the highest have ended the highest. And the two teams that were in two divisions below have finished in exactly the same places. One division below each other in the top three leagues in England. So, I mean, it goes to show you give these clubs the money with the AI. They build the good infrastructure. But they just... 50 years should be enough time to get the infrastructure in place and be able to challenge. You've seen people do Road to Glories and other saves with one team where they've took a team from team Tier 9 or Tier 10 or Tier 11 or wherever else to the Premier League and even got into Europe and possibly won European competitions. Yet the AI can just about get them to Premier League clubs in 50 years. So I'm not going to say it's disappointing because it is a massive success. We have two country teams in the Premier League we have one country team in the Championship and then two country teams in Skybet League 1. Coventry City are predicted to finish 20th in this coming season. Coventry Alves are predicted to finish 11th so actually Coventry City are now the lowest ranked team in Coventry. The lowest predicted finish team in Coventry which is absolute massive surprise. Before we end we're just going to look if there's anything weird with any of the other teams so the Premier League looks pretty normal apart from the two Coventry sides it's kind of a championship there's no one in there I mean Leicester in that's kind of a surprise but apart from that nothing really that stands out into Skybet League 1 Solly or Moores and Wrexham have both made it into there apart from that Ebbsfleet as well and Grimsby but nothing too surprising if we move down into Skybet League 2 Brentford that's the biggest surprise thus far in Skybet League 2 they have fell off a cliff massively apart from that no real surprises there Vanarama National League there's nothing that really surprised me either way teams that have come up or teams that have gone down Sutton Goldfield is somewhat of a surprise and then into the Vanarama National League North Alf Church I mean I know Loughborough students is that it's a semi-professional team, Loughborough University Stadium. So that's that's an odd one. Kings Lane, Kidderminster, nothing really surprising. There. Northampton, I suppose, is a bit of a surprise to be down in the National League North. Oldham down there as well. And then in the south, we have, again, nothing. Re- Carl Shelton is probably the only surprising one in there. Maybe Horsham as well. But very, very interesting. So experiment over with one billion pounds doesn't bring success money doesn't bring success especially when the ai are involved in football manager if you've enjoyed today's video please leave a like on it subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and i'll see you next time thank you and goodbye